This sausage, egg, and cheese savory baked oatmeal has 36 grams of high quality protein to help you start the day off right. You know what rules? Sleeping in. And if you meal prep your breakfasts, you give yourself extra time in the morning to hit that snooze button. This baked oatmeal only takes a short time to throw together and you'll have breakfast prep for the week. Here's how you make it. To start out, I made my breakfast sausage. For this, I used ground pork, but any kind of ground meat can be used. Turkey would be my second choice behind the hog. Place a large bowl over a scale and add in one teaspoon or six grams of salt, then one teaspoon or three grams each of garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, and black pepper, then one teaspoon or one gram of dried oregano, one and a half teaspoons or two grams of rubbed sage, and one tablespoon or 12 grams of brown sugar. Break up the sugar and mix all the seasonings together until they are well incorporated. Next, you add in the meat. Again, I'm using one pound or 454 grams of 90-10 ground pork here. You'll wanna make sure these seasonings are well distributed throughout the meat, so get in that bowl with your hands and toss everything around until all the seasonings are incorporated throughout. Once that's complete, you can move on to cutting your vegetables. Take one medium-sized green bell pepper or 150 grams worth and cut that into a small dice. Do the same with one small onion or a half of a medium-sized one or 100 grams worth. Cut this into a small dice to match the size of your peppers. And if you're feeling brave and you want to add some extra vegetables for more nutrients, you could add some kale or even spinach, but I'm not doing that. To cook your sausage, heat a skillet over medium high heat and add in one tablespoon or 15 grams of oil. Lay the meat down in the skillet and spread it across the surface to maximize the amount of pork touching the heat. Let this side go for a minute or two to brown up. You'll want to make sure it doesn't sit for too long because the sugar we added into this sausage is going to be prone to burning. Once you've got some decent color, you can flip it over to the other side and start to break it up into small pieces. Once all of your pork has cooked through and you've got pieces that are nicely browned and caramelized like this one, you can move on to cooking your vegetables. Transfer the sausage out of the skillet onto a plate and then add in another tablespoon or 15 grams of oil to help cook your peppers and onions. Dump in the peppers and onions and sprinkle over a little bit of salt for some seasoning. You'll allow these to cook for about three to five minutes to develop some browning and deepen their flavors. Once you're happy with the amount of color you have achieved, you can take the pan off the heat and set this aside to cool. Now that those are cooked, we can move on to building the oatmeal base. Place a large bowl over a scale and crack in two eggs. Beat the eggs until they are smooth and then you can add in two cups or 480 grams of 2% milk and one cup or 227 grams of cottage cheese. Give that a quick stir so everything can start mixing together and then we can add in our dry ingredients. Starting with the oats, you'll add three cups or 240 grams of rolled oats. Then to add some structure, you'll need some flour as well. I'm gonna add in a half of a cup or 60 grams of oat flour, but all purpose flour works as well. Next comes one teaspoon or four grams of baking powder, and then about a half of a teaspoon or three grams of salt. Stir the contents of this bowl together so that the wet and dry ingredients can come together. Once all the flour and oats are hydrated, add in your cooked sausage as well as your peppers and onions. Lastly, we're gonna add in one cup or 112 grams of shredded cheddar cheese. Everything in this bowl will get one more big mix to distribute evenly. To bake this, find a 13 by nine casserole dish and spray it nicely with oil. I like to take a paper towel and make sure I get up the sides as well just to ensure that nothing sticks. Then dump your oat and meat mixture into the center of the pan and spread it across the surface. Do your best to make sure this is level throughout so that it cooks evenly in the oven. This will go into the oven at 375 Fahrenheit or about 190 Celsius for 40 to 45 minutes or until it has set in the center. I did not cover mine throughout the baking process but some ovens run hotter than others. Check on yours at the 30 minute mark and if you find the top is browning a little bit too quick, Cover it with foil for the remaining 10 to 15 minutes of cook time. I sprinkled over some chopped parsley for a garnish just to make it look nice for the camera. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. Let it sit on the counter and cool for a bit before you cut into it. Then you can take a knife and run it along the perimeter to release it from the edges. And we're gonna cut this into six slices. That's one cut down the center, turn your pan 90 degrees, and then cut it into thirds in the opposite direction. Now, I don't usually recommend keeping meals in the fridge for longer than five days, but as you can see with six servings here, we are at odds with the sacred texts of meal prep. Will it be fine for six days in the fridge? Almost certainly yes. If you're worried about it though, you can either cut it into five pieces or do what I do and just double up one day and have one for a midnight snack. I personally don't like to freeze meals, but that is an option for you as well. So if you were to cut it into six even pieces, each serving of this sausage, egg and cheese, savory baked oatmeal will have about 569 calories and 36 grams of protein. Once they have cooled and are done steaming, I pop on the lids and move them into the fridge for the week. If you've never meal prepped breakfast before, I strongly recommend giving it a shot. 
It simplifies your mornings knowing that the eating portion of the equation is already solved. With school starting back up in the coming weeks, this baked oatmeal can be a great way for you college students to get full and focused before class so you can load up those little brains with all of the knowledge that almost certainly costs way too much. Wouldn't want to waste that. The full recipe with all the ingredients and instructions listed is published on mealprepmanual.com and there is a link in the description of this video. Now, like this video and subscribe to the channel or else you won't be cool. For two other variations of the baked oatmeal, check out the videos on screen now.